My mother had always told me that her life would make a great book. So what I did was I gave her a tape player and I said, please record your life stories on here. And she did. My friend of mine, they all together, go find up the, my sister. Hey, Eiko, Eiko, you better wait to her. One of the most interesting stories is that my mother actually did bring a box of pictures to her father to look through, pictures of all her potential suitors, and he chose my father. How to Be an American Housewife is a mother-daughter story about two very different women from different generations and different cultures and their quest to get along and understand each other. I think what a lot of daughters don't think about is what their mothers used to be when they were young, who their mother was as a person, and perhaps mothers need to think more about how their daughters are as adult people. As a mother myself, when I wrote this book, I thought a lot about what I wanted my relationship with my children to be, what I wanted to do like my mother, what I didn't want to do like my mother, and it, it kind of opened me up to that. I think that we have a, a good relationship. How to Be an American Housewife has a book within a book, and each chapter begins with an excerpt from this fictional book. Take a few reminders of Japan with you, if you have room, or make arrangements to write to a caring relative who is willing to send you letters or items from your homeland. This can ease homesickness. And be sure to tell your family, sayonara, from the chapter, Turning American, Tomiko Kelly and Jun Tanaka, How to Be an American Housewife, 1955. The inspiration was a book that my dad gave to my mom called The American Way of Housekeeping. It was actually written for housekeepers in occupied Japan, but my dad gave it to my mom thinking it was a book for housewives. Through writing this book, I've changed in how I viewed my mother. I used to think back on our relationship and think, oh, she was such a harsh mother. I really didn't like how she parented. Writing this book has allowed me to have this sort of long imaginary conversation with my mother in which we can air out all our grievances and clear the air and can really have closure. If this book teaches you one thing, let it teach you this. Do not protest against life's strains, but let them unfold and carry you through wherever they may. From the chapter, Turning American, how to be an American housewife.